<laughs> that was President Biden snapping at a reporter yesterday uh, because he didn't like the question about the big guy, questions about the FBI file, alleging that uh, Joe Biden and his son, Hunter Biden, accepted $10 million, a uh, $5 million each in a bribe from Burisma, an, ex an executive who uh, taped their conversations. The Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer joined me yesterday on this program, and he said that the Biden's foreign bribery scheme could involve uh, more money than he previously thought. Listen to this. According to what the oligarch told the FBI informant uh, was that uh, they had 17 recordings, uh, two of President Joe Biden, the others of his son, uh, accepting bribes and talking about the terms of the bribe. What number are you up to now? How much have you identified of the money he's taken in? From we national. have more bank. We have more bank records coming in, but I, but we're going to exceed 10 million this okay. week, right. and I think we'll get up between 20 and 30 million dollars. 20 and 30 million dollars is what he's expecting. Joining me now is Florida Congressman, member of the House Ways and Means Committee, and the Weaponization of the Federal Government Select sub Subcommittee. Greg Stubbe is here. Congressman, welcome back. Great to see you this morning. Yeah. yeah good morning. Thanks for having me. So do you think the Republicans will ever be able to hold Joe Biden to account? I mean, look what's going on now. We understand for decades, is Joe Biden taking money from national, uh, foreign nationals while he's supposed to be creating policy for America? Yeah, and we have tons of evidence now, not just through Comer's investigation, but you had Bob Alinsky testifying. He went on Tucker's show and, and said that he was present in these meetings where uh, Joe was the big guy. I mean, the FBI has so much evidence against Joe Biden and his family members for accepting money from foreign nationals for official activity uh, that we have to take action. Obviously, we only have the House. I've already signed on to an impeachment proceedings, an impeachment resolution. And I think we need to move forward with that once Comer's done with his investigation and has all this information uh, to show the American people that at least the House and Republicans are not going to let a corrupt president stay in office. Well, I mean, that's right. And a number of your colleagues have also filed articles of impeachment against Joe Biden uh, because of this reason. What's the timing on the end of Comer's investigation and when you would actually see an impeachment trial? So in my discussions with him, the challenge is getting all this subpoena information and financial information from all these different LLCs and banks. So they basically laundered the money in all these different individual LLCs. So you have to do specific subpoenas to those specific LLCs bank records. So it's going to take some time. I would imagine probably the next 30 to 90 days before you're going to get that financial information back through the subpoenas. Um, so it should be in the next couple of months. Hopefully by like fall, the Comer will have that information. They can move forward in the committee process to investigate it, bring the information before the American people. And I think we move forward with an impeachment proceedings. Yeah, but you're not going to get two thirds of the Congress to take this guy out of his job, right? I mean, the House could impeach Joe Biden. Uh, over this, but the Senate probably won't. You, you, you've got Democrats completely ignoring it and the media completely ignoring it. I mean, the media will not cover this story, even though these are the no. most serious allegations ever leveled against the president. I mean, you're talking about bribery of the vice president while he was sitting vice president, bribery right. of his family members. I mean, this would have been a Republican member of Congress. You'd be indicted already and sitting in prison. But because it's Joe Biden, the DOJ and the FBI, which is basically the enforcement arm of the Democratic Party now, is completely and utterly protecting him. We could get the votes into the House, but we'd have to get 60 votes in the Senate, like you said. But I would think that even... Like, can, like moderate D's in the Senate, like a mansion or a cinema, would see the level of corruption here and be like, look, we can't stand for this before the American people. But unfortunately, uh, I don't think Democrats, the, the, you're probably not going to get eight of them or 10 of them to sign on uh, to removing the president of the United States just because of party politics, which is yeah. sad. Well, uh, President Biden and the administration claims that he's finally getting on the campaign trail now. Uh, beginning today and tomorrow, he's uh, raising eyebrows, though, with his latest gaffe about geography. Here's what the president said yesterday. Watch. We have plans to build a railroad from the Pacific all the way across the Indian Ocean. We have plans to build in, 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 in Angola, one of the largest solar plants in the world. I can go on, but I'm not. I'm going off script. I'm going to get in trouble. 
what what's this about? We're doing rail cars in the bottom of the oceans now. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't know. He's reading it, and he, like he say, he gets in trouble when he goes off script because he's literally reading something, and they know when he. Goes